Okay, for the second uh, drawing we're going to work on, we're going to go over to this one that's on the right-hand side. And uh, with this, we're going to use the polar uh, array. And uh, then we'll use the tangent modifier for object snap. So the first thing I want to do is we'll start zero zero right at the center of this circle. And we'll go in there and type in uh, 0, 0. And we want the diameter. Now I'm going to go down here and hit the word diameter. And the diameter of that needs to be 2.25. Okay, and I need to ro rotate that over a little bit more so we can see everything there. Alright, so we'll zoom in on... Oops, sorry about that. So we'll zoom in on this. So that's this hole right through the center of that plate. The next thing I want to do is create a circle up here, actually two circles. Okay, and I'll just hit enter to repeat the command. And I want to snap to the center of this circle. Oh, excuse me, I don't want to snap to the center of that circle. Uh, I need to put that up right up here. Now, it says the diameter of this bolt pattern is 4.5. So I need to go half of that straight up. So I'm going to type in 0 on the X, comma, 2.25, which is half of that, uh, let's see, better do a 2.25, which is half of that 4.5. Then uh, if I can do either one, the, the diameter or the radius, the uh, radius is 0 0.409, so that's the larger one. I'll hit the space bar or enter to repeat the command. I want to snap to the center. I'll go down hit diameter, 0 0.409. And I've got another circle. Now, as I said, before we use the, and I'm going to hit save, I guess. We use the uh, rectangular coordinate system. This time we're going to use the polar. So the polar asks us to pick the two objects. And we'll pick both of those. Enter. And then it wants to know the center point of the array. Where do we want to pivot to get this array in here? Well, the center of this circle right here is the pivot point. And there you can see it. Do not pick the centers up here. It's the center of the big circle. And we only want three items. And that looks to be it, doesn't it? So we'll hit enter. Okay, so we've got that. Now, and note that is all one uh, set up there. So if we could uh, blow that apart and make those individual components. But, uh, Right now that's not necessary, but it probably will be when we get ready to start trimming. So the next thing I want to do is draw a line. And I want to hold the shift key on my keyboard, hit the right mouse button, and get tangent. Then I want to shift, right click, and tangent again. That's only good for one click. And escape or, or enter to end that. That's Again, it's only good for one click when you do the shift and right click. Okay, so and you can reset that and we can go down here to the object snaps and right click and hit settings. If you don't want to do that, you could have turned off the end point in the center and just turned on tangent. So if we turn those two off, these are called running object snaps. So if we had turn those two off, then you wouldn't have to right click. But I like to show you the right click. So there's the tangent and there's the tangent enter and then I, I'm going back and switch these back I right click on that icon and go back and do endpoint and center and I'll turn off tangent and later on in another lab we'll probably show you that we'll use that uh, some more uh, those running object snaps but I like for you to be able to use this if you need it just for one click okay we'll do another polar array and we want this line here enter Again, the same center. We don't want six. We only want three. That looks to be what we want. We hit enter, and that's done. And the only other thing we have to do is trim these out. So let's hit the trim command and see what happens. If we hit the trim, we pick this, enter, and we want to get these. See, so it's not allowing me to get those because it's all one object, if you will. So I'm going to go in there and uh, explode 
this set of objects here and now we'll do a trim and we'll pick this and then we'll go in there oh, it's still not getting them so we'll have to explode these lines that's a polyline we'll explode back to lines trim and we want to pick these three now enter and we'll delete or trim excuse me trim those pieces out and that's the second part of uh, lab three now I guess the other thing we'll want to do is we want to take this and move all of this so we'll just pick a spot doesn't really matter get that out of our way and hit escape and of course we'd want to hit save so we'll stop this video here and uh, finish up the third one in the next video